Thank you for purchasing the Oz Optics Oz Pen Carbon Dioxide Snow Cleaner. This is a step-by-step -step guide that complements the instruction manual provided with the Oz Pen. In particular, this video gives instructions on cleaning high-power air gap connectors. We begin at the front panel of the Oz Pen. Here we have the power switch to turn the machine on, the heater control knob, the thrust control knob, pressure gauge, snow control valve, and the snow indicator light. The heater controls the temperature of the propellant gas. You can increase and decrease the temperature by simply turning the knob. The hotter the propellant, the finer the particles of snow that will exit the nozzle. Finer snow particles allow for cleaning smaller size contamination. The cooler the propellant, the larger the particles of snow that will exit the nozzle. Larger snow particles allow for faster removal of contamination. You will need to find a balance with the particular contamination in your application. For typical contamination of dust or oils in fond fiber optic connectors, a typical starting point would be 50 to 100 degrees Celsius. Here, we have ours set to 100 degrees. For heavier contamination, a lower temperature setting of 50 degrees to completely off can be used as well. It is possible to turn the heater on so high that the snow fully sublimates as it exits the nozzle. This is easily solved by turning down the heater. Your Oz panel will have a metal braided tubing extending from the front panel of the nozzle. There is an easy feedback mechanism. The braided tubing will feel warm to the touch if you have the heater on. If the braided tubing becomes excessively hot, consider reducing the heater setting. Next, we have a thrust control and pressure gauge. By activating either side of the foot pedal, a propellant will begin to flow. In this case, we have the pressure set to approximately 40 psi, or about 3 bar, a good suggested starting point. In order to adjust the thrust, the front knob needs to be unlocked by pulling the knob out. You will notice that there is an orange indicator ring that can be seen when it is unlocked. Now, you are free to adjust the pressure up and down, and returning back to the original setting. Once you have set the thrust, you can push the knob back in to lock in the setting. We recommend having the propellant flowing while adjusting the pressure in order to see the changes in real time. Pressing the foot pedal activates the composite flow of carbon dioxide and propellant. The snow indicator light turns on when this happens. The onset of snow spray may be delayed as the liquid carbon dioxide needs to work its way through the system. The system was not used for over an hour, and a slight delay occurs before the snow starts exiting the nozzle. It is safe to touch the snow flow, but continue to move your hand around in, while in the flow. A frost burn may occur if you hold your hand in one position for too long. Once the pedal is released, the propellant turns off and the snow indicator light turns off. Residual carbon dioxide will continue to flow out. This residual flow should not be used for cleaning. Subsequent activations of the snow will have little to no delay. Here we have a close-up of the nozzle and snow control valve. Gently turning the snow control valve clockwise reduces the snow flow to off. Turning the snow control valve counterclockwise returns the snow flow back to the original. And by continuing further counterclockwise, the snow flow increases to maximum. We will return the snow flow back to the original by turning clockwise again. We recommend a lean flow of snow, as shown in the video. This setting is typically within the first quarter turn of the snow control valve. Using too little snow will require a longer time to clean the part, and using too much snow will waste carbon dioxide and may cause condensation to form on the part. When using a higher temperature setting, you may need to increase the snow flow to acquire a lean flow of snow, and when using a lower temperature setting, you may need to decrease the snow flow to again reach a lean flow. The foot pedal has two actuators. The left side turns on only the propellant. The right side will have both the propellant and carbon dioxide flow. The recommended technique to clean is to press the right hand side down for snow, holding it down until you are completed cleaning the item, and then switching over to the propellant side only while the residual carbon dioxide peters out. At the nozzle side it will look like this. The difference is that the propellant only at the end allows for the clean and dry environment for your part to dry out in. You will notice that the pressure gauge shows propellant is flowing, whereas before, the pressure gauge was at zero. We will demonstrate the basic cleaning technique on a high-power air gap connector. 
This high power connector has a freestanding fiber in the center, so wiping any contamination off is not possible. This is an example of an intricate item that cannot be cleaned by using everyday methods. Here is a close-up of the nozzle. Push the snow pedal to turn the snow on, and once the snowflow has stabilized, introduce the connector approximately 1-2 to two inches from the nozzle. Feel free to translate the item in a plane, as well as tilting the item. The cleaning process is quick. We have switched over to the propellant only side now, and are keeping the connector in the clean and drive environment only. We will show that again in real time shortly. Here you see a typical setup of an OS panel. The tabletop unit, with nozzle, inspection microscope, and display. You can see a contaminated fiber tip on the screen. We will try to blow off the contamination with air only. And you can see that the fiber is still quite dirty. So we will use the Oz pen in real time. As you can see, by using the OzPen's non-contact cleaning method, the high power connector has been cleaned. Here are some simple pointers that will help in getting the fastest and easiest cleaning with the OzPen. If you have the snow flow too high or hold the item too close to the nozzle tip for too long, a dry ice frost will coat the part. This dull white buildup stops the cleaning action from reaching the surface to be cleaned. You do not want this frost to happen. In order to avoid this, you can reduce the snow flow, or move the item further away from the nozzle tip. When the item has frosted up, you can switch over to the propellant only side of the foot pedal to help the frost sublimate away. You will see that the frost sublimates off very quickly. The positioning of the surface you wish to clean relative to the nozzle tip is the most important factor. Typically, the surface is normal to the spray. You can tilt the item to be clean to help reach the nooks and crannies of an intricate surface. You can also move the item towards and further away from the nozzle tip to have stronger bursts of cleaning. You can also combine and do both at the same time. For more information on the Oz Optics Oz Pen, please visit our website at www.ozoptics.com/products/ozpen.html.